Tony Abbott is now trying to take the credit for same-sex marriage being legalized in Australia despite being the most prominent campaigner against it. Here's a summary of the article. With his job on the line and many voters in his own electorate desperate to see him ousted, Tony Abbott is seeking credit wherever he can take it. Mr. Abbott was one of the nation's most relentless crusaders against legalizing same-sex marriage. The day the Postal Survey on Marriage Equality began in 2017, he urged people to vote no less than a month later, he published an opinion piece in then Fairfax newspapers arguing that legalizing same-sex marriage would fundamentally change society. To demand marriage equality is quite misleading. Same-sex couples already have that. This debate is about changing marriage, not extending it. And if you change marriage, you change society, because marriage is the basis of family, and family is the foundation of community, Louise Hislop, convener of Voices of Warringah, said the same-sex marriage plebiscite and Wentworth by-election result last year had woken people up. We've tried to get him to engage on issues like climate change, but he's become less representative of what we want. We've also tried on same-sex marriage in the ABC. This post received a score of 43,936, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Total piece of shit. Never forget. The Facebook account, Tony Abbott, worst PM in Australian history, still has 183,000 followers. If I was Muppets and I'd sue for defamation. The truth is a complete defense. Please tell the President of the United States lawyers this. Trump already know this. His tactic is to scare people with a lawsuit or try to bankrupt people using vexatious litigation. Most people, organizations don't have the financial resources to fight such lawsuits. Trump is a bully of the highest order and this one of his favorite bullying tactics. He really is disgusting. Trump, of course, has voiced his intention to get rid of these laws and make bullying lawsuits more effective. I said, you know, you're right, I never thought about that. I said, you know, I have to start thinking about that. Great to know this is how policy gets made by Trump. Usually we bitch at presidents for not thinking five steps ahead. Now we're at one. Greater than one. That's generous. Never give up on your dreams kids. If Tony could make it as a Rhodes Scholar you can make it as an astronaut. I think Tones wants to be PM again. No thanks. Greater than the most prominent campaigner against it. And he didn't even have the balls to stand by his beliefs when it came to the vote. What a cunt. This absolutely makes me livid about him. He refused to vote at all, let alone properly representing the wishes of his constituents. Fucking spineless. Nah it's the exact opposite. He refused to vote for it so he didn't vote at all. They only called the gay marriage plebiscite cause they thought it would fail anyway. They counted on many more people being secretly against it than there actually was. What I meant is that his entire career he was against it and the moment he had a chance to be on record to back up all the bullshit rhetoric with the only thing that matters, a vote, regardless if it was against the wishes of the country and his constituency but at least with his conscience, he was spineless and abstained like a bratty child. You either have principles and hold to them in conscience, or you represent your constituents in what they want. Abbott wants to have it both ways and that's why he's a cancer to politics. The coward by abstaining also got to avoid going down in history as one of the MPs that voted no. If I'm not mistaken, there were a number of MPs who had a personal belief of yes but voted no as it was the wish of their electorate which they swore to represent. Even though they are representatives, I still find it disgusting that someone would go with their constituents when what their constituents wants are at odds with basic civil liberties. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.